Is the world doing enough to combat racial discrimination? There's hope and the struggle to make our world more equal must continue. There's already a strong foundation called the Durban Declaration and Programme of Action. This pivotal document aims to grow global efforts that address and fight the root causes of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia and related intolerance. The DDPA was born in 2001 at the World Conference Against Racism in Durban, South Africa. States, activists and others from more than 160 countries created this unprecedented roadmap. The document is comprised of a declaration that condemns racial discrimination based on race, colour, descent, national or ethnic origin, and it has a programme of action outlining how to fight these scourges. At the heart of the DDPA is the plight of victims of racism and racial discrimination. They can also suffer multiple forms of discrimination based on other related grounds, such as sex and religion. The DDPA recognises the links between colonialism and past and contemporary forms of racism and discrimination, and that slavery and the slave trade are crimes against humanity. It highlights the effects of systemic racism in prolonging inequalities. It underscores the intimate connection of poverty, marginalisation, social exclusion and injustice with racism, discrimination and intolerance. Two decades after the DDPA was adopted, racial discrimination in all its forms still persists and in some places has increased. Yet the DDPA's measures are still relevant today. They have to be implemented promptly and effectively. We must fight against racism in all its guises. We must stand up firmly against any ideas promoting racial superiority or hatred. We must stand up for a society free of racism that offers equal opportunities and access to justice for all.